Hey, I just called T3 to have him find you, and he said you were already on the way. That's some impressive timing. What are you doing here, Theron? Digging, just like I said I would. Let me show you what I've got so far. Colonel Derrick commanded our strike on Korriban, supposedly to gather valuable intelligence data, none of which has been turned over to the SIS. This is the Sith you spoke to on Tython, Darth Arcus, member of the Dark Council, organizer of the attack on the Jedi Temple. You found a connection between them? Yes. They've both been paying visits to the same genetics lab in an underwater facility here on Manan. They're headed down there again as we speak. How quickly can you arrange transportation? We can catch up to them and find out the truth before any more lives are lost. No, hold up. There's more. With Derek and Arcus working together, the timing of the attacks makes perfect sense. They weren't really attacks at all, they were robberies. Robberies? What do you mean? The imps hauled something out of the Jedi Temple just before you got there. A few security hollows were still working, so I got a shot of it. Derek's top guy, Commander Jensen, grabbed something similar on Korriban. I ran the images through some databases. They were pieces of ancient Rakata technology. As in technology from the ruthless empire that conquered the galaxy before the founding of the Republic? Yes, you can understand my concern. I'm pretty sure Derek and Arcus have brought their Rakata tech to the lab. You're gonna have to go in and figure out exactly what they're doing with it. There. I've arranged transport to get you in, but security will probably come after you with more than smiles. Don't let them slow you down. While you're searching the lab for Arcus and Derek, I'm gonna meet with one last contact. I think she might have some interesting intel for us. She? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Good luck down there. Theron here. I'm patched into the lab's tracking systems. Looks like Arcus and Derek are still inside. There's a security checkpoint ahead that can grant you access to the rest of the facility. Transmitting coordinates now. Interesting. I'm seeing records of a prisoner here. Someone named Jakaro. I bet he can share some interesting stories with us. Looks like my contacts here. The chief of security is just ahead of you. Watch your step. My master compliments your impressive skill. I would like to share his appreciation for this noble rescue. This is hardly the time for embellished translations. I'm sure your master would agree. Oh dear. Please let us out of here. We beg you. <coughs> Your droid seems to be missing a few pieces. Those modifications occurred before our imprisonment here. <laughs> My esteemed master Jakaro is a specialist in discreet cargo delivery. I am his translator, C2D4, former servant of Ribbon and Queen Lena of... <laughs> yes, well. Jakaro was contracted by a Selkath geneticist, Garima, to deliver certain medical equipment perfectly legal to this facility. But once the delivery was made, payment was never rendered. Instead, we were imprisoned and interrogated by two very unpleasant individuals. Colonel Derek and Darth Arcus? We were never introduced. Very rude, to be perfectly honest. 
After the interrogation, they told Garima to use us as fodder for some kind of experiments. What kind of genetic experiments would call for a Wookiee and a droid? Thanks to your timely intervention, I hope we'll never have to find out. Their story checks out. Just a little digging on these two. Charges against them both for smuggling, disorderly conduct, assault. Even the droid? Yeah, why do you ask? Never mind. Well, whatever they may have done, my contact has a good feeling about them. Thinks they might come in handy. We'll see if she's right. All right, we're in this together. Ready? the facility files and I keep finding references to the Order of Shasa, some pack of force using Selkath. They aren't Jedi or Sith. I'm still not sure how they tie into all of this, Try but moving. I imagine you're going to run into them. Be careful. Is that... Um, I'm registering some tech near you that reads like it's from the Rakata. See if you can't open up the network for me. I'll slice in and take a look. You need to stop what you're doing and answer my questions. As Uge fed a leg job as Ureg Viko had milked Aki Sok. I want to know what Derek and Arcus are planning. What are you doing here? Volta Sak Vek Ut Azo Negre Akon Ivolo Mar Meg Bis Hato Sad Meg Seze Meles Nehez Volt Felis Merni. Oge ne kunk, tole ras ege mas fonales, mege iteletet. A tenger file nes as edges, folio semisem, uge nezet ki. What are you waiting for? Do it! Before he has a chance to betray us again! He's all yours, Jakaro. We're done with him. Well, that explains the dead guards. I knew I sensed someone familiar. I told you to let it go. You did your part. None of this concerns you. If you think that shield is going to protect you from me, you're wrong. It doesn't have to hold for long. I see you killed poor Garima. It's too bad. He would have enjoyed seeing us put the first of our infinite army to work. We were 
working for the good of the entire galaxy? The Republic, the Empire, everyone. We can't let you interfere. to die before the facility reaches crush depth, it will probably be more comfortable that way. Hello again. I'm afraid that all of the emergency pods have been ejected, and all hatches leading back to the facility entrance are sealed. Fortunately, I procured a small watercraft for just this eventuality. The autopilot should have a docked at a hatch near your location shortly. Please hurry. I can sense its power from here. It's considerable. Your time is short. Be merciless. Show it you will not back down. Apologies, but the remote docking procedure isn't quite finished. You're a Sith. But not your enemy. Not today. Now, are you interested in a ride back, or would you prefer to swim? I'm not in the habit of trusting Sith. This seems like an excellent time to start. <coughs> and there we are. Your transportation is ready. Safe travels. think it might put everyone at ease if you ditch the lightsaber. Is that really necessary? Surely I'm not as intimidating as you imply. Deception is one of the key weapons in the Sith arsenal. You trust him, and lying is the core of his profession. Couldn't Lana Benico, terrifying Lord of the Sith, earn the same trust? Arcus manipulated her and her people, same as Derek did to us. She's already shared a lot of good intel. Based on your work in the lab, we know that Arcus and Derek are working together, manipulating both sides for some third party. They're Revanites, members of the Order of Revan, a secretive cult that's had its claws in the Empire for many years. It seems they've pierced the Republic now as well. I helped pull Revan out of the Maelstrom prison. I heard he died not too long afterward. Was that incorrect? Not as far as Lana or I know, but dead men can be even better cult leaders than live ones. We know the Revanites have highly placed moles in both the Republic and the Empire. That means we have no idea who we can really trust. Then it's up to us to stop them. <laughs> My master, the incomparable Star Captain Jakaro. Is more interested in action than discussion. And this is his translator, C2D4. Former interpreter for her eminence, Queen Lena of Antaran. Yeah, we got that earlier. All of it. I saw your list of known accomplices earlier. Quite impressive. Could any of them help us find where these traitors might be hiding? Superb. Then if Theron agrees, 
Go ahead and get the ship prepped. I'll cover our tracks and catch up. Very well. It's been a pleasure meeting you. May the Force ever serve you. You'd better travel separately. If the Revanites put a tail on us, they won't know which to follow. Lana isn't our ally, Theron. She's going to betray us, sooner or later. You're probably right. But for now, she can be useful. The Revanites are just as dangerous to the Empire as they are to us. We're going to need allies, even if they aren't as trustworthy as we'd like. But that doesn't mean we have to let our guard down. I better get moving. Watch your back out there. first few interviews with Jakaro's friends went well, believe it or not. We're going to start with some antique smugglers from the exchange, see if the Revanites have gone for any other Rakata tech. I still think working with the Sith is more trouble than it's worth. We can handle this on our own, Theron. You're good. I know that. And I'm not so bad either. But I still think we're better off spreading the work and the risk around a bit. If the Revanites did manage to take us out, at least there will still be someone else going after them. Even if it is a backstabbing Sith and a murderous Wookiee. I'm glad to see you're still in one piece. It's a good look for you. Then I'll do my best to stay that way. The Order of Revan. <laughs> my family has even more pull than I thought. You're related to Revan? You never heard that story? Bastila Lashan, Revan's great Jedi love? The name made it all the way down to me, even if the Force didn't. Look. Revan was a wild card, and his crazy cult of followers is bound to be the same. Highly trained bravado aside, we're up against some long odds here. You sure you still want to be dragged into all this? I'm not going anywhere, Theron. You can count on that. Teams aren't my usual style, but I think I could get used to this one. All right. I'd better get back to Lana and Jakaro before they do anything. I'll get in touch as soon as we get something concrete. Stay safe. <laughs>